Honoured guests, Madam Chief Justice Wood, Honourable Minister of Communications, my friends and colleagues at the Data Protection Commission, thank you for the invitation to make some introductory comments at this very important conference. It is my pleasure and honour uh, to present to you. As the Chair of the International Conference of Data Protection Authorities and Privacy Commissioners, one of my roles is to make connections with other groupings of data protection authorities and privacy commissioners to ensure we all benefit from the networks and gain an understanding of the way in which common issues are approached in different cultural, legal and national contexts. The last few years have seen a sudden surge in the number of African nations adopting data protection laws, with more than 20 nations having some kind of regulation now. This confirms the African continent as a very important block. The International Conference welcomes this increased diversity that this trend brings and looks forward to sharing with and learning from the African nations. The topics that you will be discussing over the next two days are of greatest importance and are on the agendas of, for discussion in the Asia-Pacific region, in Europe and in the Americas. Each region in which these topics are discussed brings a slightly different perspective to that discussion and when we convene as an international collective, our discussion is enriched as a result. Many countries are grappling with the new security environment and how security and intelligence agencies should have sufficient legal authority to keep us safe yet enough oversight to retain the trust and confidence of the populace. As your eminent countryman Kofi Annan said, our responses to terrorism, as well as our efforts to thwart it and prevent it, should uphold the human rights that terrorists aim to destroy. Respect for human rights, fundamental freedoms and the rule of law are essential tools in the effort to combat terrorism, not privileges to be sacrificed at a time of tension. These are wise words to be borne in mind in times when security fears can lead to disproportionate intrusions into the lives of the vast majority of citizens who are unconnected with terrorist activities. Social media, cloud computing, data breaches, all of these are on the agendas of conferences like yours from Paris to Mexico. All around the world, governments and businesses are searching for ways of realizing the undeniable value and benefits of big data but we must come together and agree on how this value can be realised in ways which respect individual privacy. Kofi Annan again. Big data can predict the spread of viruses based on a community's behaviour on search engines and how often they type in keywords such as flu. It can make the management of disaster response work more efficient by predicting refugee movements and preparing first responders ahead of time. But again, Without the right policy framework ensuring that big data is not abused, our privacy, indeed our liberty, will be in danger. Your deliberations on these subjects are as important as any other in the world, and your contribution to the international discussion will be essential in this age in which data respects no borders. In 2014, at our international conference in Mauritius, it was a pleasure to welcome the Ghana Data Protection Commission as a member of the International Conference. In addition to recognising the GDPC as an independent data protection authority with the important responsibility of protecting the privacy rights of Ghanaians, with that accreditation, the GDPC joins a collegial association of some 110 authorities representing all regions of the world. When we next convene, for the first time on the African continent in Marrakesh in October this year, I am sure there will be opportunities for the insights you have gained during this conference to contribute to and inform our deliberations. I wish you well for your conference and look forward to hearing of its ideas and successes. Thank you again for the opportunity to join you briefly.